We're out here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and boy am I excited because I have been given exclusive access to the Michigan Masonic Museum and Library to go in and take a tour. Okay, so we're just getting in here to the Michigan Mu Masonic Museum and Library, and the first thing I want to do is I want to thank uh, Dirk Hughes for allowing me to come in and uh, do some recording. In addition, he gave me an entire tour of the building, and uh, what I want to start with is this piece right here. This is from uh, George Washington, and uh, it's been rumored that uh, he actually owned and gave this to another mason as a gift. And on the other side of that is an apron that was worn by um, President Taft. And there's actually his signature at the top there. And coming over here, they have a nice little uh, area dedicated to the Order of the Eastern Star with some artifacts as well. And they have this uh, Eastern Star symbol right there. And some more of their uh, prized possessions. So it looks like they even have a, a nice little area here designated for the International Order of the Oddfellows, which the International Order of the Oddfellows doesn't have anything to do with the Masons, um, but it looks like uh, that they wanted to give them a little love as well. So this section here is for the um, Order of the White Shrine of Jerusalem, which is a uh, separate organization that ladies can join that has a charity that they work with. And this section right here has the Order of D. Malay, the Job's Daughters, and the uh, Rainbow Girls, which is um, Masonic-related organizations that uh, children can join to learn all sorts of different things. And this section over here deals with the York Rite, and they have um, a couple different pieces. They have uh, the sword, sword there, and all sorts of different medallions. And they have this uh, uniform here that is worn by one of the Knights Templar. This right here is an interesting collection of uh, Masonic belt buckles and they have so included in the museum is also libraries so some of the museum pieces is actually on top of the library shelves so they have um, some of the hats there and then all sorts of just different pieces from different areas and whatnot and then this that I came across is actually a lapel pin collection from a 70 year member of the Masons. So what you're seeing right here is a row of what they call the Masonic Scope, which they use these way back when to do some of the teachings of uh, Masonry. And this one actually still has a roll of film in it. Coming over here to this section, this one's dedicated to the uh, Scottish Rite. There is uh, different hats that uh, the Scottish Rite um, Masons wear. And what's interesting is they have this picture of Henry Ford getting his 33rd degree. I found uh, something that's kind of neat. This is a Scottish Rite dog collar which it says it was presented to Kali, February 14th, 1907. OK, 
Okay, so since 1982, the Grand Master of Michigan has their own pin that they make to distribute out to all the Masons in Michigan, and this is a collection of those pins. And next to that, they have uh, some more hanging jewels here. And on the other side, it looks like they have some Shriners regalia. And th these are past master jewels. And one little thing that caught my eye was they have Homer the Great on the uh, Stonecutters episode. I thought that was really neat. Coming over here is quite a large collection of uh, lapel pins. There is four of these that they have that have all sorts of different Masonic related symbols. I do see a lot of Shriner stuff. Um, and like the Fez, Trowel, and oh, there's like a Florida one <clears throat> is a really cool collection there and next to that is a collection of uh, ballot boxes that members of a Masonic Lodge can use to vote on various things and next to that one is a collection of gavels that um, the officers of the lodge use um, when they're having their meetings. Now coming over here they have a section for the Shriners. There is um, various fezes that they have and there's some glasses there and some jewels and some other little trinkets. And that reminds me of the Shriners Hospitals for Children, I believe, is the charity that they work with. And this is the uh, Gerald Ford section, which I found out uh, Gerald Ford was actually a Mason, and he was from the Grand Rapids area and was actually a member of the Grand Rapids Lodge where this museum and library is at. And they have this entire section dedicated to him. And there is, there he is, getting a jewel. And some of his books. And it looks like a signed football right there. And they have a section here dedicated to the uh, Prince Hall Masons as well. And they're still working on developing more of it, but this is kind of the initial items that have been donated to help the museum continue on. And there is this outfit right there. And just like a lot of different uh, regalia. And coming over here, there's this, quite a collection of swords. It says that this one was used in the ritual sword of the Order of the Eastern Star. And there's some more there. Now this is a section that's kind of dedicated to international uh, Freemasons. And um, I believe that this apron was from Mexico. And then this sash right here is from Belgium that was actually dropped off from a mason in Belgium. And continuing on, they have some plates and like various artifacts. Some of these look like they might have been on buildings. And there's a, a shovel there and some coins that have the square and compass on it. And then these look like stamps. They have the square and compass, and then that looks like a stamp with the Masonic Temple in Grand Rapids. 
and the Immortal Chaplain's stamp. And then there's a Scottish Rite piece right there. This says Benjamin Franklin and George Washington bookends. And it has uh, what they call the working tools. Entire uh, set right there. And not quite sure what this piece is, but it's very interesting looking. And as you can see, it's still kind of um, being developed a little bit. Um, they also have these pieces, and check out this out. Uh, I'm gonna call it a lantern. Check that out, isn't that neat? And then there's those pieces right there. The square and compass. And there is this statue right there. It kind of looks like a jester. That's what it looks like to me. A cribbage board. Butterfly wing serving tray. And then there's like some tiles here that have different Masonic symbols on them. And then this is a Masonic picture, 1780, 1780 to 1800 Liverpool where, or Herculaneum pottery. Yeah, check that out. It's, it looks like it's been hand painted. And then coming over here, this is a um, stone that President Truman actually sent out to various states. And there was a little controversy about whether he had the authority to take government property and distribute it out or not. And there's actually a letter that's signed by him as well to go with this stone. There's this uh, nifty little set of uh, trowels that have like different lodge names and numbers on them as well as the uh, Masonic slipper pin. And if you don't know about the Masonic slipper pin, I uh, highly encourage you to take a look at the story of that. And this is kind of just a general look at all the things that we've seen. And there's another display case here with uh, the Michigan Masonic Home in Alma. And coming over here are some, looks like uh, awards. Specifically, that one's a golf tournament award. These are the uh, tall cedars of Lebanon pieces. And um, these are grotto um, hat pieces as well. And I saw some interesting pictures over here that I wanted to take a quick look at. They got some old pictures there. So I kind of just wanted to give a final view of the entire Masonic Museum and Library here. Um, there was a certain section that I was asked not to record, so I'm not going to record that portion. Uh, but this gives you a pretty much a, uh, a overview of the entire place about 99% of it so this has been quite an experience <clears throat> okay so we're just getting outside of the uh, Masonic Center here in Grand Rapids and once again I wanted to say a big thank you to Dirk Hughes who let me come in and uh, record the Masonic Center or Masonic Museum and Library in addition to that he actually gave me a full tour of the building. Um, some of those areas I didn't want to record because uh, out of uh, respect and privacy for the uh, Masonic uh, Center here. Um, but again, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. We'll see you on the next one.